got about four hours of sleep and it's now mid almost midnight so it's almost friday so um with that i was not gonna go and get into any death matches with any stocks either um if <laughs> um one thing i definitely like to do if certainly I'll, I'll answer whatever questions uh if you're new in the room i'm not really part of the program here if you want to learn more about the program i am a former student who just helps out from time to time so um you know if you want to find out more about melissa's stuff certainly you've got to contact melissa probably through her website or something like that um so uh my voice might be quiet i'm in an apartment where everyone else is asleep right now um <laughs> Um, okay, so best traders ask me about my trading right now. Um, how do I take the profits? Uh, if I am not sure of my judgment, as I was this morning, um, just because of being tired, I take some in a hurry. I took some at the, you know, I took some at 50 cents in. I took some uh, at, more at a, at a second limit. I put the limit orders in ahead of time, and then I just bailed whenever I thought the market might bounce. So I do take them, take them out in pieces, certainly. Um, but it is a case by case basis. Uh, and certainly the rating of the gap has something to do with my willingness to hang in there or expect more from a position. Um, <clears throat> if you guys will indulge me, uh, I think my charts are up. Hopefully they're okay. And uh, what I'd like to do, I've never, I've traded away from home before, but never this far away from home. Home for me is uh, New York City time, the time zone. And uh, right now in Korea, I was worried about running the room and worried about, uh, frankly, time lags. So by the time the data gets from New York to me to everywhere else, um, one thing I'd like to do, I'm just going to say, say something while I type. Okay, I'm going to type something in the room and as I submit it, I'm going to speak it. What I'd love to know is if there's a time lag, if you see the words before I do this. So I am going to type something and not submit it yet. Okay, I'm going to submit something and speak at the same time. I am speaking now. Is there a lag? Huh. <laughs> it's a split decision. Anyway, well, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay. That's good to know in case we have to do this again. Um, so this morning, I didn't know if I was going to be running the room uh, or not. Uh, I just started going through gappers from last night and gappers this morning. And at first I wasn't that thrilled. Um, I put up here, as I often do, things that might catch my attention along with the cues of the spies. Um, AOI certainly was a winner. That's what I did today. At first I wasn't excited about it. I thought it would be more difficult, but, um, that was wrong. And uh, I think Dubois cut the mic late, very late. And uh, that certainly worked out well. TPX was in there. It didn't rate as well as the other two. I think Melissa saw it as a secondary watch also. And uh, here on the 15 minute chart, we're just sitting in the range, just not moving anything like the W, which was appealing. And of course, the AOI. Wow. Um, some of these look like they could be plays throughout the day. Um, not like sit and hold, but I don't think these things are done. Uh, I feel out of touch. I missed the whole day of the market flying here. Um, but let's see. 
Do you guys see anything out there that you want to talk about right now? Uh, we're still working through the lag issues here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do that test for a lag again. Um, I'm going to send something. I'm going to send something in five, four, three, two, one. This is a test. Again, it's a split decision. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Look, enough about my setup. As I said, I didn't have a whole lot to talk about today. I just wanted to get things working. Um, it is midnight here, and uh, the real disadvantage for me isn't that it's late, uh, although it feels different, and so things feel a little, you know, we all have our habits that we rely on. Um, one of my habits is coffee, and I'm trying not to drink that right now. <laughs> so yesterday, oh, yeah, if Melissa's not in the room, if you're new, if you're new to the room, if Melissa's not in the room, I go out there. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, if, if Melissa's not in the room, I go and actually do the, the hunting for the gaps. And if I see something I like, I will rate them as well. And uh, we'll go from there. We talk about them. But I don't pretend to be, you know, the wizard, the wizard that Melissa is. But uh, it lets us share some ideas. And, yeah, uh, normally my ratings are pretty close to Melissa's. And my choices are pretty close to Melissa's as well. Barry is accusing me of not telling the room what was going to happen because I'm ahead of you in time. Yeah. Yeah, Koala, I agree with you. I think um, there is more of a lag for anything I say as opposed to anything I type. Uh, yeah, this is definitely Melissa's room. Absolutely. And... Uh, She's here almost every day. Just occasionally she gets a weird scheduling issue. She told you about one today. So I didn't know if I was going to run the room or not. But um, anyway, I mean, this, this, this couldn't have gone better this morning. I'm looking at AOI. If you want to play this later, you can wait for a five-minute setup here. This mic, I've never traded as a stock. I just know the company from their ads. And they're not living up to their ads, apparently, from earnings. Tempur-Pedic, TPX, I think I've traded this in the past. It hasn't always been an easy mover. Um, it has a little bit of a spread in it right now, as a matter of fact. And it seems like these betting stocks, they get some big fish in there who hold on for forever, who, who buy it seems like a lot of people buy this stock to, with the idea they're going to keep it for a very long time. They just haven't been good day traders for me. Hmm. And W, you know, I trade on technicals, but if there is news, I tend to absorb it along the way. This was a short, this was a target of one of those big short selling firms long ago. It caused a fight. And it also got into some controversies about uh, chemicals and products way back when. But obviously, 
what's interesting about W here is as a play, bring this up. You can see we're shorting something that's kind of, a, yeah, it's in an uptrend. So that's something we'd have to be careful with W. It makes it, made it, you know, makes it more challenging if things are going to misbehave. If this thing stops working in your favor and the market turns up, that there's no reason. I would expect this to go up too. So, um, you know, that's why something like Mike and my C was so appealing. This I do not believe was in an uptrend. No. So otherwise, um, I missed all the option calls yesterday. I saw some emails flying around, but again, I was late to the party. Um, looks like yesterday was a strange day, but nothing really damaging happened to the market itself. Um, as it turns out, some of my longs sold off in that little spike. Um, apparently I sold a little bit of it. I actually sold some Amazon for my swing account while I was flying here. Um, so those of you who know I like to take profits early, I'll do it as a day trader sometimes, but I, def I do it all the time as a for any swing trades or long-term money that I have. And for anyone new here, just know that any of my long-term decisions are also based on Melissa's gap analysis. Some of the rules are different, of course. So I'm curious, um, many of you know I go long from time to time. Um, do many of you go long? If you go long, just give me a yes or long or whatever. Because there are a few times where I look around in the background of the room and I resist pushing long ideas, thinking that this is a, a short biased room, which is fine. Okay, some of you are, yeah, definitely in here. Okay. I mean, the shorts really are nice at the open when they work, because they work so quickly and you're done. Okay. Yeah, but there's so there are a bunch of us in here who, who will go along. And it looks like some of you had problems getting AAOI borrowed today. Um, I did not, for what it's worth. Okay. Is anybody in anything right now? I feel like I should be doing, you know, at least watching what's going on. I flip to the spy here. So the spy is not being very dramatic right now. Yeah, that might, had it not been uh, a late sighting, I might've looked at it a little closer. Uh, my broker happens to be IB. People know I try not to sell my, my platforms too much. And my charts that you see are TC2000 which generally get the job done. Um, I've heard occasionally they can get a little slow. So looking at the, at the SPY right now, uh, we're just we're kind of tight on this 15 minute chart here.
got a green bar for a first bar. Nothing wrong. That's good if you're long, generally. Got a five minute. I have a five minute setup right here. I feel a little out of touch with the world to call any general market longs right now, but there's nothing wrong with this chart if you want to go long in the future. And we just got a five minute buy setup. 